In this video, we're going to make some adjustments to our user model and our navigation menu. We'll be adding a Gravatar image so that when a user logs in, a Gravatar will be shown instead of their name. If you haven't already done so, please download the starter files located in the previous lecture. Navigate into your server folder and open it in your terminal. And in another terminal, make sure that you have MongoDB running by typing in mongod. Let's first take a look at our app.js file located in the client folder. And with that open, let's start our server by typing in nodemon app. And with our server started, we can navigate over to localhost 9000. As you can see, we're getting automatically redirected to our login page because we aren't currently logged in. And the reason for that is because we've defined a location.path redirect that first checks to see if we're logged in. We're using the authenticate parameter that checks whether a user has a valid JSON token. In our main config file, we have set authenticate to true. And this is how we can protect any routes we want from being accessed by users that are not logged in. So at this point, if you haven't already, create a new account for yourself. And I have already created an account, so I will log in. And after logging in, this currently takes us to our main.html page, which right now is just a blank page. So let's go ahead and add a very basic template to this file. And on refresh, we'll see the hello world text. You'll notice that our login name has been added to the navigation menu. This is achieved by the assigning of a variable within our navbar.html file. We can open this file by navigating into our components file located within client app components navbar folder. We'll also open up the controller file. We're assigning is logged in to auth.isLoggedIn. Auth.isLoggedIn is a service method that checks whether the current user is logged in. In our HTML file, we're using ng-show and ng-hide to decide what should appear in the navigation menu. If a user is logged in, we'll display the home link. And if an admin is logged in, then we'll display an admin link. Underneath is logged in, on the right side of the menu, we're displaying the text hello, followed by a call to get current user dot name. And we're retrieving the user's name with a call to the service auth dot get current user. So now, instead of saying hello Joe, I want to display a Gravatar image. First, let's add some CSS styling. So if you open up your navbar.css file, you'll see some code that's already been added for us. Let's now make some adjustments to our user model so that we're able to attach a Gravatar image to a particular user. So in our server API user folder, let's open up all three files. We'll start out by making a few adjustments to our model. First, we'll add our Gravatar and assign it as a string. We're going to create 
a few new fields to our document for future use. The first is an array of looks. So we'll be able to assign a user to a look. We'll be including the functionality of liking different looks. So let's give the ability to add likes to particular users. The ref value refers to another schema that we'll add later. We'll also include a details area that can be used when building a user profile. Now, let's take a look at our user controller. Down here is where we are creating a new user. So this is where we're going to add the ability to download and save a Gravatar image for our user. We're using the Gravatar NPM module, which can be found right here. We're going to be using the code found here under usage which gives us a very easy way to pass in an email with some options. And under examples, we can see again how easy it is to pass in a few parameters to retrieve a Gravatar. The Gravatar NPM module has already been included in your files. So all we need to do is require Gravatar at the top of our file. Now we'll define a get Gravatar variable. And using the example, we'll pass in request.body.email, which will grab the user's email address. And we'll define an S for size and a D for design. The create method controller is creating a new user. So it's taking the body elements of our email, username, and password and assigning them to our user model. We're also passing in our email to the gravatar.url method and then saving the image that we get back to our model. So now that that's done, let's make sure that we're displaying the avatar image after the user logs in. And we can do that by editing our nav menu. In our navbar.html file, we can see that the home and admin links are being displayed on the left because of this navbar-left element. And in this area is what's being displayed on the right side. First, let's add a new link under navbar-right that will display all the looks or images that our logged in user has added. Now we're going to replace the hello get username area with our gravatar image. And I left out a comment here, so make sure that that's corrected. And now, when we restart our server, we should see the Gravatar image show up. Please note that you will need to create a new user in order to set a Gravatar image for that user. One other correction that should be made is in the user.controller file, new user .get Gravatar should just be new user dot gravatar. And with that correction, everything should now be working correctly.